Good morning, everybody. I'm Teresa Perrin, and this is my stock market watch list for Friday, December 23rd, 2022. Merry Christmas and happy holidays to all of you. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and watching. It's greatly appreciated. If you could smash that like button for me, I would really appreciate it. Now, guys, be mindful that today is the day before people start their Christmas vacation, right? So a lot of people have off and a lot of people are doing last minute shopping, errands, cooking, and all those great things that go along with the holidays, traveling. So please be mindful that the stock market will have decreased volume, especially after noon today. Um, today is a full day for trading. The stock market is closed this Monday in observation of Christmas. And it will also be closed the following Monday um, in observation of New Year's. So just keep that in mind with your trading and options. Let's get started. And please remember, nothing I say is financial advice. Always do your own DD. And this is just a watch list. Stocks that I think have high probability of making moves. All right, guys. Number one on my list is Tesla. T-S-L-A. Because there was a big space call on Tesla yesterday that Elon Musk actually joined. Unfortunately, I was busy at the gym when he came on and I was on the call earlier during the day, um, but I missed Elon. But I did listen to it last night, um, probably around one o'clock in the morning, and it was a great call. And I think it's going to bring a lot of momentum into Tesla stock. And actually ran up to $129 before pulling back in pre-market or in after hours yesterday during the call. And I do believe that we are going to see a continued move to the upside. Um, and I'm not saying that Tesla's done falling yet. I think there's still going to be a lot of volatility. Um, however, I do believe today we are going to see a green day. Tal. Tal Education Group, guys. I have been talking about this for a while. If you saw my video... Um, and if you didn't, I highly suggest you watch it. But we are in the process of making a gap fill from $9.63 all the way up to $19.56. There is no resistance in that area. I told you in that video that the RSI needed to cool off and it accomplished that, or at least it started accomplishing that um, yesterday by basically having a flat day. And I mean, yes, it did go up 1.51% or 15 cents, but for Tal, that's a very low movement day and it's basically like it being flat and it gave the chance for the RSI to cool off a bit. And I do believe that we see that breakout in Tal either today or the beginning of next week. Blue Apron, APRN, congrats to all of you that follow me on Twitter and saw my tweet regarding this when it was back at like 82 cents. And I said, we will reach $1 sooner than you think. Well, guys, that came yesterday, the very next day um, in After Hours. I had said, made that comment on Wednesday and yesterday, Thursday, it came true. We hit $1.07. This morning, we were up to one twelve. I did see them pull it back down to... 94 or 97 cents. Not a surprise because we all know how this market is and these people are corrupt. Um, you need to realize that when you are trading that the stock market, I'm sorry, but despite what people tell you, it is very rigged. Um, big money has the power and they control the movement guys. Now, that being said, today has options. And if they're on the right side of the trade, then we will see this continuing to go up. If they are shorting this in the options, then you will not see this make a move up today. In fact, you will see it close below $1 so those options don't go in the money. However, I believe that they are going to let it run today. Um, I'm not 100% certain of that, Trust me, I know that when options come into play, things can be crazy. But guys, um, if it doesn't happen today, then you better believe that it's going to happen next week. Um, and we are going to see an even bigger move in Blue Apron. So I'm excited about that. Um, sorry, some of these might be a repeat because um, I got up very early. Anyways, oh, Meta. It's not a repeat. Uh, Meta. 
So guys, um, we, I am looking at Meta for a reversal back to the upside. Yesterday, it pulled back, allowed that RSI to cool off along with the rest of the market. And if you look at this, it's making on that one day um, pattern an inverse head and shoulders. I do believe we see a continued move in a green market, perhaps a little bit of a Santa Claus rally today in the stock market. So I'm looking for Meta to move up and get through 120 this morning. Snap. Okay. Um, yesterday, you if you follow me on Twitter, you saw me put out a tweet saying, watch Snap, Meta, and BB, maybe BBIG, but pins was the other one. And guys, the reason for this is because um, the government passed new legislator that in addition to giving a bunch of money to Ukraine again, um, don't even get me started on that one. It's not that I don't think we should support them, but not when our own com our own country is failing and we continue to just pile money into this tiny little country. And please, I'm not going to get political because I feel horrible for those people. But I think that there's a lot of corruption going on with this. Um, at any rate, guys, that being said, in that bill, um, it discussed um, more bans for TikTok. And I believe that you're going to see all three of those stocks make moves to the upside today. Kaba. All right. If you haven't seen my video on Kaba, check it out, guys. I told you this was my play of the week for a reason. And that's because we have a gap fill to $11.60. And we are well on our way. And I believe we got a nice push up. Normal. This is how the stock moves. It pushes up. Then it has about a $0.25, 50 cent pullback. And then it pushes up higher again. Well, we got that move up. We got that pullback. And this morning, I believe we push up again. Now, again, that's all based on volume today in the market. But things are looking good. And perhaps we fill that gap today. C-O-R-Z. All right, guys, this is a bankruptcy play. And I put out a tweet yesterday on Twitter when I saw the news about it and had a feeling it was going to move. Well, if you invested in it down when I put out that tweet below eight cents, it went all the way up to 18 cents. So congratulations. I hope you took profits. If not, and you're playing this first swing trade, all good because today we should see an even bigger move to the upside based on news of it getting um, funding. So very exciting for CORS. And if you're unfamiliar with bankruptcy plays and how they can move and how this could potentially be a squeeze candidate, guys, please go back and just search my Twitter for CORZ and read the comments because I answer a lot of those questions in there. Um, if I have time over the weekend, I will do a video to explain it. SMMT, again, guys, this is something that I'm watching for a continued move to the upside. It pulled back with the rest of the market yesterday, but um, in the very end of the day, the last hour, it started breaking to the upside. It's continuing in pre-market, so watching for that type of continued move. ATUS. All right, guys, this is a technical move. This was actually one of the top watches technically, and it is performing beautifully so far. Um, yesterday, it was a top watch technically. I really like the chart set up on this one, and I think we're going to see continued moves to the upside in ATUS. XPON. X-P-O-N has news today, guys. It is... Um, up more than double after the Li Ion battery supply deal occurred. So keep an eye on this. Um, please don't chase. Be very careful because it's up significantly already. If you're going to get in, wait for a pullback. IMMP Immutep. This also is in the news this morning and I believe can continue to the upside. It is another um, chemo cancer drug. It had a successful meeting with the FDA on Eftilagamod. Forgive me if I'm butchering that. Alpha plus chemotherapy for treatment of metastatic breast cancer. Guys, if you haven't seen already, a lot of these cancer drugs are making moves. My personal pick is PSTV, which has not had a move yet. Keep an eye on that as well. TNXP. All right. TNXP Pharmaceuticals has had major pullback. I like the way this chart's looking and I'm looking for this break through 34. As you can see, it's already up two cents, 4.62% uh, in the past week. Guys, it really needs to break this neck. I, I would really like to see it break through that 35. And I think you're gonna see a nice move come in when this finally does break back to the upside. 
Mullen Automotive. Mullen has a shareholder meeting today along with a vote for the reverse split. Keep your eye on MULN. And we'll see how that moves um, based on the results of that vote. AMC Ape. Ape is the preferred shares of AMC, guys, and that's APE. I'd keep an eye on this as well as AMC. AMC was going down and Ape was going up based on recent news regarding the plans to potentially do a reverse split in Ape. Are they running Ape now because they want to avoid a reverse split and they want to convert it back into AMC shares? So quite an interesting play here. Um, again, guys, I think that this is how they're going to kill the squeeze in AMC. I have said this all along. Keep your eye on Ape today, though. Um, have a great day, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And again, happy holidays to you and your families. Oh, I almost forgot. My apologies. Top gainers today. X-P-O-N-I-M-R-N-C-O-R-Z-B-A-C-K-D-B-V-T. Top losers. E-J-H-M-I-N-M. N-T-N-X, A-C-S-T, and H-Y-Z-N. Your most active, C-M-C-S-A, D-N-A, Siri, S-I-R-I, Vale, B-H-C. Sorry, I took that screenshot twice because I didn't know if it saved. Um, and then technical analysis top list for today, Teva, T-E-V-A, Hal, uh, which, guys, oil and gas is up. But yesterday, oil and gas was up as well. But Hal pulled back with the rest of the market. It's actually at a very nice level. And it never got that move yesterday that I was expecting. So maybe it gets that move through 40 today. Uh, BTG, ATUS, and COTY. 